Hey guys, Barbara Frederick here. Third try on this video since I cannot get anything to upload. Um, I will use the information on human development to help with my career as a teacher by knowing what stage my students are in. So I teach sixth grade students, which means they're around 11 or 12. And in the lecture notes, it talks about them being in the juvenile stage. So this stage is very important for sixth graders. Um, as they enter middle school, it's a very different time and they naturally put themselves in same-sex peer groups. They draw away from their parents or guardians and they become more involved with their friends. Uh, this is where they're most social and then they begin to form a view of themselves as more independent. And that independence is very much they don't want their parents to tell them what to do anymore. Um, and around the same time, they're also, a lot of them are either starting puberty or have already started puberty. And so they're very uncomfortable in their body and their emotions are very out of sorts. And so as they understand the changes that are going on, on their, in their body, they don't like it. So knowing all the physical and mental developments that they are going through will help me know how to relate and form good relationships with them. It would also help me know if they're extra emotional about something. Maybe it's just an off day for them. Maybe there's some other hormones going on that maybe they just need a break. Um, and then it is important to me as an educator to know about the human development so that I can provide the right tools for instruction. So I teach special ed students and I need to know how the brain works and how it develops from the very beginning. Um, this will help me pick the right materials and strategies to teach my students because most of them come with some sort of delay or some sort of um, something that happened to them and so I need to be able to assess my students to see what their delays are, what their shortcomings are per se, and how I can help them overcome their obstacles and be successful and fill in the gaps that have occurred in the past.